Hi everyone and good morning. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I've got a gorgeous card to share with you this morning following on from this wonderful set yesterday. I thought I've got all of the, um, you know, the stamp uh, stamps out so I thought I may as well do another card while I've got all of the the stamps on the block and uh, you know I thought it doesn't make sense to put it all away and um, not make another gorgeous card with it so that's the plan anyway that's what we're going to do um, I'm just going to wait for a few of you to turn up right two have we got here we've got Karen we've got Sue we've got Tracy good morning everyone right get off my chair Get off my chair, you naughty boy. <clears throat> Good morning. I am all sniffly and <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> the cold is coming out even more. Hi, Moira. I thought I'd imagined you said you'd be here. I'm sorry, I forgot to put some of it on the group um, <clears throat> this morning. I know, I'm terrible. I keep, I've had so much to do because obviously we have our sale today. Um, so I've been dealing with orders and things oops oh no what have I done right okay um I was beginning to wonder myself I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> right okay so as you know we made the other gorgeous card yesterday with this same set and <clears throat> I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stamps on blocks to my um right so I thought you know what I may as well um, make another card now I made this card last night I'm not completely happy with it um, because even though I like it I think because I made it a sympathy card these colors are too cheerful if that would make sense so what I've decided to do is do the same card but I've toned the colors down um, so I've changed the color um, combination and made it subtle because I think Melamambo is probably not the right colour for a sympathy card. Even though this is very beautiful. Oh, Moira's been to the sale. <laughs> Bless her. Um, even though this is beautiful, um, I don't know. I'm not quite happy with it. So I've changed the colour combination. I'm actually loving this colour combination. So we'll see what that turns out and looks like. So... We're using quite a few bits and pieces. We're using the ornate frames again. And we're using this one here. I mean, you don't have to make it a sympathy card, obviously. You could be, you could put on here, um, get well soon. Or thinking of you. Or, you know, hi Caroline. And lots of different things. So we're using the beautiful friendship um, stamp set. And we're also using... The Stitch So Sweetly die, so we're using this large one here. Um, we're just using one of those. And we're also using the Parisian Flourish um, embossing folder. And I'm using the Sentiments from Well Said. And if you've never seen this set, it is great because it has everything really you could need in a sentiment basically so lots and lots and lots of sentiments there for you so a real great set you know so that if you're thinking oh um and they're quite little words as well some of them you know you have got little littler ones that you can fit on things um so that's what we're going to be using and i changed the colors so on here let me just tell you the colors on this one you've got melamambo pool party um, Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. Um, so I've toned it down for this card. So we have um, a card base which is Blushing Bride, and this is eight and a quarter by five and a half, scored at four and one eighths. You have a piece of Whisper White for the inside, which is four by five and three eighths. You have a piece of Whisper White which is three and five eighths by two and a half. Um, and then this piece here is two and five eighths by three and three quarters, which is in Blushing Bride. This is soft sea foam. Is it soft sea foam? Yes, it is soft sea foam. And that's to cut out the die cut. And then we have a piece of vellum, which is um, 
four by five and three eighths and I've gone and run that through the embossing folder and if you see with vellum when you emboss it it just I just love that effect that that has it just oh my gosh it makes it look really rather delicious and on these colors I'm hoping it's going to be subtle so I've changed the inks to the subtle range I've just ordered those gorgeous stamps oh well guess what Moira I have decided to use this stamp set for next month's stamp club stamp set so looks like you'll be in next month's as well so yes I thought about it and I thought there are so many things we can do with this stamp set so I'm going to probably make when well, no, I am I'm going to make this next month's stamp club stamp set a bit of a mouthful that is right so I am using subtles on here so we've got so saffron blushing bride pear pizzazz soft sea foam and pool party um they're the colors that we are using naughty step again you're always on the naughty step i don't know why you bother getting up really right okay so we're going to need this piece this piece and i have two little sentiment bits done here and here we've got two of them in fact i've cut four just in case i fluff up so we've got those and we've got those right i'm going to bring in my foamer mat Hi, my video wouldn't come up, but you're here now. Hi, Lynn, honey. Right, okay, dokey. So, let's do our... Move these bits out of the way. Move that there so I can see what we're doing. Because I have, have changed the colours. Right, so we're going to take our Blushing Bride. And we're using... We've got the big stamp. I'm just hoping that this is going to look okay because obviously I haven't done the trial run because I changed the colours. Right, okay, so we're just going to pop this down there. Like that, and that should go lighter as well. And then we've got Pool Party. Now what I might do is stamp off on this one because... I don't think I want it quite as dark, so I'm going to do the stamp off and stamp on technique. So we're using pool party. Right, so we're going to stamp off and then we're going to stamp on. And then do it again down here. like that this is going to be very subtle which is good <coughs> excuse me and then we've got soft sea foam and we've got this lovely sprig we're gonna have that come up there And I didn't leave quite as much room as I wanted to up there, but never mind. Every card comes out different. Um, then we have pear pizzazz for the leaves. I don't know whether to stamp off on this one, so let me just do a little test. Now I might just do that full strength actually, because I think it will dry out a bit better right and we have got another set of leaves down here hi Sue hi Julie um right that's that and then we have um, So Saffron. Hi Kay. And we're using this little bit here. 
Well, let's hope that dries out a little bit because that's actually quite yellow. <coughs> and I'm going to put a little bit in the middle. Right. Okay, I think that is it for that bit. And that will dry out a bit lighter as well. Which set is this, Mr. Beginning Hun? It is the same set as last night, honey. Let me just give you a very quick recap. So we're using Parisian Flourish. We're using the Stitch So Sweetly Dies, the Beautiful Friendship, Ornate Frames, and Well Said, honey. Okay. Right. So that's the um, centerpiece. Then we're going to do the inside and so we're just doing it in the pool party and the um purpose as it's going to be the stamp club of the month for next month lynn so um because i've found so many inspirational um you know cards to do with that so much inspiration i should say so we're just going to pop that down there i think i think so i'm so much of the annual catalog is actually in the 10 percent. i don't think there's that many items that are not in the sale there are a few but not not many so Grab yourself a bargain. Right, we're just going to pop that there. And do that. There. Okay. That's your inside piece. And seriously, these really do not take... Once you've got all your stamps set up, um, honestly, they do not take long at all. Right. Let's, we're going to do, right, we're bringing in our sentiments now and memento black and try and get this straight because I think on these words I didn't actually put my stickers on straight. So, <laughs> I know, always do a little test first. I know that it's kind of, I just got to come down a little bit with this. Oh, I think I overshot it. Oh, no, heartfelt. We did good. <clears throat> and then, see what I've done? I've put the two stamps on either side so that I was running out of blocks. I'd used all my blocks up. Um, So what I do is I do it like that and then stand it on its side like that. <laughs> so you can actually use a block twice. If you haven't got many blocks, this is a great tip. Put a stamp on either side and stand it like that while you're, yes, great way to, um, especially for stamp sets that you have to use a lot of the, um, you know, stat oh look. So I didn't get the other one crooked, but I've got that one crooked. My goodness me, right, I'm going to do a little test first. Always do a little test because if you like me, I've put me stamps on a little bit wonky. Oh, see, I've got to come down a bit. Right, let's try again. Might be because I've not got my head over it properly. Oh, it's still crooked. Oh, no, please tell me I have another one. Mm. I'm growing. Right, I'm coming down here. Please, please. <laughs> right, what was it doing it that way? It's doing it too much that way. There you go. Right, we got there in the end. Right, okay. Heartfelt sympathy. Right, okie dokie. I'm hoping that these colours will look very good together because like I said I thought it was just not the right colours 
for a sympathy card. Right, okay, so uh, let's put all these bits in. <laughs> it only took me four attempts, I know. My goodness me. Oh, I, it's because I had, with the well said, there were so many word, um, you know, there were words. Oh, no, 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 no. Sentiments. And uh, I'm not very good at putting the stickers on completely straight. If you're just a fraction out. Oh. Right, that's that. And then what I'm going to do with the vellum, because obviously you see the glue, I'm just putting glue in the middle here because we're not going to see it because of the um, the centerpiece. So I'm just literally putting it down underneath. Like so. And then we're going to put this on that. Right, now I've got to remember I put the ribbon, I'm going to actually put the ribbon around the two pieces because it's a bit more sturdier, right. So I'm just going to pop this down. So yeah, once you've got all your stamps on the block, then really it, it doesn't take, they don't take very long at all. Right, so let's put this around. Cut a piece. I did do this super long. That's because I'm pants with a bow if I don't have a long piece. Don't twist, don't twist. Hi Janet. Right, let's and get that like that, and then we can straighten this up and just neaten that up like that. Maybe. Okay, and there you go, that's that. I did that quite well today, didn't I? And then we're just going to put some adhesive. Yeah. Right, there you go. And then I'm going to put glue on the back of this. I'd have to cheat on that bit. Lol, can't tie a decent bow to save my life. Normally I can't, Cameron, you should know that by now. I got lucky today. Every now and then I hit the jackpot. <laughs> That's not very often. It is not very often, trust me. And um, so I'm just going to pop that down. Oh, look at these colours. Isn't that much better for a sympathy card? Definitely. There you go. I'm liking these colours. And then we're just going to put some glue on just the bottom bit of this. Oh, yes, please, Moira. And we're just going to line up this centre bit of the die on that line. And then this is the one I did straight, isn't it? 
Oh, do you know what I've done? I put the glue on the wrong side. Ah, no, get off. Look, see what I've done? I've put the glue on the bottom. I needed the glue on the top bit. It's a minor booby. And even though we don't want to have to have a sympathy card, unfortunately, every now and then, we do need to have one. There you go. So, that is, and look at that. I mean, you know, I like them both, but I, like I said, I think for a sympathy card, these are too bright. So doing the subtle colour, um, just gives it a different look altogether. So more subtle, I think, works better, doesn't it? Um, and look how quick that was. Because, you know, I have got all my stamps set up. And I've got my inks all out and ready. And, wow, well, that was a bit too quick, wasn't it? That was a bit too quick. That was very super quick. Um, so, as you can see, that's those cards. And then, obviously, yesterday's card that we did. Um, just, you know, different looks. And I've said you don't have to put heartfelt sympathy on it. You could do whatever you want. Yes, the subtle one, those colours are... The only thing is, I'm not too happy about this. I could have brought this down just a fraction. I don't want to cut it down because it would... Um, it's not overlapping, but it for me, it hasn't got a border. I needed to have brought that down just a fraction, but I don't want to cut it because if I fluff it up, I'll just have to leave it. It looks it looks okay. Um, so that's today's card. And like I said, I'll probably be using this um, stamp set for next month's stamp club. So if you want to take part in next month's, you might as well get it in the sale today if you can. And... Um, I do like this one though. This is my fave. The colours on this card. Oh, I mean, this is a delicious card. No shadow of a doubt. And I love this card. It feels just divine. Feels divine. And this one just feels very subtle and lovely, you know. Um, so there you go. There's today's card tutorial um everyone who's wanting to put orders in i will be doing that in the next hour so just bear with me um moira you've got me all in a pickle by the way i have to tell you and i'll show you what i'm doing at the minute um yes it's moira's fault so oh my gosh where have i got these bits here these are probably going to be the next few videos um I took part, I'm taking part in a, uh, one of Moira's, um, <laughs> swap clubs, um, which is the, uh, uh, One Sheet Wonder, um, oh my gosh, my brain has just gone dead, One Sheet Wonder, well, it's a One Sheet Wonder swap that she has on her group, and, um, so I got, I was getting this all together last night. So I'm going to um, probably be doing a tutorial on how to cut up the One Sheet Wonder and how I'm decorating these cards, etc. So I've had all these bits out and, yes, nine cards. And uh, so I've got myself in a little bit of a, a, a flap last night because I was like, oh, my gosh, and I was laying out all of these cards um, to try and figure out what I'm going to do with them. And, you know, so... I probably will be doing, I found this pack of laser cut um, sheets, which was on sale. So it's always good to look on our clearance. These are not on clearance at the moment. Um, but we do have the white ones of these in the catalogue or a white one, I think, which is very similar in the catalogue. But this actual one is just on set, was on sale clearance. So I'm just thought, well, I'll use it up. One sheet wonder. So, yes, um, I have all of these cards to um, do for my swap. So, I may do a couple of videos on how to cut up a A4 sheet of um, designer series paper 
and turn them into beautiful cards. So yes, I've got my work cut out for me, but I've got a couple of weeks yet. Well, I've got two weeks, I think, but I'm going to try and get them done this week. So I will probably be doing a couple of videos on that. I mean, look at this laser cut paper, isn't it gorgeous? Um, you've got all these lovely, look, these lovely cut, die cuts and that. So, yes, that is kind of my theme. That's my, well, my sort of um, starting point for my one sheet wonder. So that's it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be looking at this afternoon after I've done my orders. So um, thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, I've lost my cards I did today. I'll put them somewhere. Oh, gosh. Right, I don't know what I've done with my cards. Oh, there they are. Um, yes, thank you so much for joining me today and um, I will see you all, um, I think I'll see you tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Wednesday tomorrow. Yes, I will be back tomorrow for a video either at 11 or 4, I'll let you know in the morning. Um, have a lovely day, hope you all get a chance to do some crafting. Bye Karen, honey. It is 12-1 sheet. It is 12 one sheet. 12 one sheet. Oh, I don't know what you're on about, Moira. I you get you, you confuse me sometimes. It's because I don't see all the messages sometimes. Oh, she replied to Lynn. One sheet is plenty. Oh, um... I'm so sorry. You see how I'm talking and doing things. I miss your messages. And then I then see someone's message and don't know what you're on about. Right, Moira, it's not you. It's me. I didn't see all the messages. <laughs> right, I'm going now before I get myself in trouble. Right, don't forget there is a sale on. Please go and have a look if you are thinking of buying anything and just had it on your wish list. You know, it's a great time to have a little... um spoil yourself moment um and i will see you all very very soon back to your one sheet wonder i know i need to get back to my one sheet wonder right love you guys have a lovely day take care for now bye